<laughs> China insists that Tibet must never break away from Chinese rule. This is how it proves its point. In the Tibetan capital Lhasa, Chinese soldiers come out in force. There were two um, heavily armoured uh, vehicles, six APCs, and then uh, uh, another couple of very lightly armoured tanks. Today it has uh, only been foot patrols in our area. A couple of French cyclists tried to leave earlier today, to leave the actual city limits, and uh, have been turned back. In the market, soldiers go from building to building, showing the Tibetans hiding inside who's in charge. We have full capability to deal with the problems in Tibet and safeguard the security of the Tibetan people. The situation in Lhasa is very good now. But the trouble has spread. Here, Chinese security forces in another Tibetan region take away protesters. It's all become the most serious challenge to China's rule over Tibetans for 20 years. Here outside Tibet, China is trying to show that everything goes on as normal. But tonight, you can tell that China is worried. We've seen military vehicles on the road, and the security forces have set up special checkpoints to stop reporters and outsiders from getting anywhere near Tibet. James Reynolds, BBC News, in Western China.